Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Restock straight from Point Magoo, California. This is part three of GoBot's Puzzler. We're going to transform everybody today. We're going to make him into Puzzler. All right, let's go take a look. This is Crossword. That is Jigsaw, Pocket, Rube, Tic Tac, and Zigzag. If I've made a mistake before, oh well. Let's go ahead and transform everybody. First starting with Defeat. I'm gonna move these guys. Uh, they're really easy, let's face it. Just pop in the legs. That is Rube. Keep the head up. All right, good to go. Transform or switch the waist. And the other dude, zigzag, is exactly the same. So I'm gonna put that in the back there. Okay. Same thing here. Do -do -do -do. Pop in his arms. Keep the head out because we're gonna need that for transformation. Of course, this poor dude is broken. Oh well. And just put the legs in. And there we go. And the next dude is, of course, Jigsaw. Jigsaw is a little bit more complex. We're just going to move his arms up because we're going to need him to do that. So move his arms up. And this is the beauty of it. His legs, they just split. And I love that. You can do the splits and just move them straight down. That's why he was so well articulated. His arms, unfortunately, flop out. So that's the only bad thing I, I don't like about that. So you know, all we have to do is just pop the legs right there. And this is easier said than done. So let me see if I can do that. Bam. One leg. Second leg. Just like that. All right, see if I can stand him up without freaking zigzag making a mess. Yeah, and he's gonna lean. That's the only thing is that he's gonna lean. All right, how's that looking? Not bad. Okay, who's next? We're going to make the torso or the chest, whatever. And this is why he's got his little T-Rex arms. And I love this clip. The retaining clip is for these clips on the bottom here. I'll show you why that retaining clip's there for the mufflers. So we're just going to put the legs up, okay, pull that out, and he just, just moves on down. So who's the red dude again? Tic Tac. And the retaining clips go on the mufflers here, and these little spokes right here go on top of the squad cars, whatchamacallit, lights. Alright, oh yeah, one thing is that we're going to move these arms and push them in, and these little retaining clips tab into this space right here and it keeps the body nice and tight push the arms back in and yeah and just go ahead and just tab them in there and there's a spot over here for the arms and I'm just gonna have the arms here real quick and we're gonna make one arm this is of course crossword and we're just gonna have transform him put his arms up or over here push his or sorry the head flip it back flip the arms out and we're going to keep this open right here because it's part of the transformation. Flip the arms or the hand out. And that's what I like about it. His hand is already molded in there. So you don't have to worry about extra little parts. Unlike some people we know, Hasbro. All right, and I don't know why it needs to do this, but you take the entire bonnet assembly and just flip it down like that. And then you rotate it. Again, another unnecessary step. Rotate it. Good. That's one arm. Next arm, same thing, flip Sunstreaker, I mean, what's the dude's name again? Pocket. Okay, legs, just put the legs back together, flip the arms out, or hand out, and tab it in. There's a little tab to keep them together. I don't know if I can tell, right there, that little tab. Good, same thing, one tw twist to waist, flip it down. Yeah, I don't know why you need to do that, but here we go. Just an extra step. And that's the dude's right arm. And because it's so darn flimsy, I don't want this falling apart on me. See that tab right there? Well, all you have to do is just stick the arms right there, and it holds pretty well. Let's see, same thing right here. Yeah. And I'm going to move the arms back because there's the top of it. And let me just show you. Whoops, that tab right there, the one that was broken, 
that's where the two tabs these two tabs are supposed to go into so let me put a freaking zigzag back in there so you can stand old boy up and once I have them transformed I'm not gonna move them that much because this thing's falling apart on me and uh, yeah definitely definitely a display piece but that's okay all right last thing like that oh yeah yeah he definitely leans forward so you're gonna have to put his arms back or something so he don't yeah that's the only thing I don't like about this dude there we go Woo. I mean not bad looking Definitely a display piece. Let me put them with a size comparison. This is a good old, this is Voyager size, so he's definitely about eight inches tall. He's taller than a Voyager, as you can tell. But let me put him against one of the guest dolls from the G1 era. This is actually R.I.D. Bruticus, is not the G1 Bruticus. Let me put him with a uh, deluxe size so you can have some kind of a comparison there. All right, slightly smaller than the G1 guest doll. But one of the main draws that I like about this is that he has all the parts. He doesn't have any additional parts. That's the way he is. See, good old Bruticus, you wanted to form a fist, you had to freaking put it on there. I'm afraid this thing is, yeah. See, if you wanted to form his fist, stick it in there. He didn't come with it. You want to form his head, put it on there. Want to form his chest, put it on there. His feet. Put it on there. So that's the only thing I don't like about the Hasbro Gestalt. That's why I prefer good old Puzzler because there is some ingenuity. He actually took some effort to actually make him like that. So with that in mind, he's not bad. A very, unfortunately, not many Gestalts in the robot world. I think Monstrous is one of them. I haven't played with that, but Puzzler is the only one I got. Got him for like 20 bucks or something like that back in the day. Looks good. What can I say? Uh, roughly, if Devastator, if I rated Devastator a 7, this thing's got to be better than him. So, 8 out of 10. That's all I got, YouTubers, and I'll catch you all next time.